I now have the distinct pleasure of introducing our commencement speaker. When you have faculty members like Professor Jennifer Doudna, you realize you could not do better than that. I think it really started when I was a kid growing up in Hawaii. So I grew up in a rural town and nobody in my family was a scientist, but I was fascinated by the amazing evolution that takes place in an island environment where you know you see interesting organisms that have evolved quite quickly to adapt to that unique environment. So that was fascinating to me. Please welcome to the podium a true Berkeley treasure, Professor Jennifer Dalton. I've already always been fascinated by the role of molecules called RNA in cells. These are it's a type of chemical that is related to DNA, um, but has the ability to form particular three-dimensional shapes that allow it to function in very interesting ways in biology. And we think, scientists think that you know, RNA molecules have been employed in the evolution of life and that they continue to be very important in helping cells decide what information is to be employed in, at different times during cell growth and division and the formation of whole tissues or organisms. I always wondered about the molecules that allowed those kinds of processes to happen, just what, what could be going on in these organisms. So I guess that was my earliest idea about, um, you know, about sort of the flow of information in, in cells. And then as I got into high school, I got exposed to a few professional scientists who were actually doing work on molecules. And I thought that was incredible that one could do experiments to understand something that tiny inside of cells, something you could not actually see with your eyes. You had to detect in other ways. And so then I, that was really probably what got me uh, first thinking about the possibility of doing biochemistry and eventually doing what we call structural biology, where, which means looking at the actual three-dimensional shapes of molecules. I am very excited about the future of, uh, of biology. I am excited about the opportunities ahead for um, doing things to help address real problems in, in human society, in a sort of biomedicine, but frankly also in agriculture, dealing with uh, climate change, uh, dealing with challenges in our environment, finding ways to create sustainable biofuels more efficiently using plants and, and, and other organisms to do that. I think these are all really exciting opportunities. And today, I salute your accomplishments here at Berkeley well, I, you know, I actually gave a speech at commencement here at Berkeley. So we have, we have many commencements, as you know. And so I was speaking to the undergraduate students uh, who are completing degrees in molecular and cell biology at Berkeley. And it's, a, yeah, it's probably, I don't know, a couple hundred students that uh, were finishing yesterday. I told them uh, three things that have really influenced me in my life and, and in my career. One is the importance of mentorship, mentors, you know, people that are uh, providing inspiration and guidance at key points in, in your career. I told them also about the uh, twists and turns of life, you know, that you can't really predict where things are going. You make a plan and you have to be prepared to change it. And, um, and the third is, is really just, um, looking at opportunities to uh, contribute to, to society, you know, finding ways to turn one's passions into the kinds, of, uh, the kinds of impacts that I think we all hope to have in our career. And go Bears! And well, all we ask is that they take that education and go out and do great things in the world. So that's what I said to the students, and I try to live by those guidelines myself. <laughs>